This image is on retinoid metabolism. Since we're talking about vitamin A, obviously that the metabolism is important, but I want to actually use this image to illustrate a few different concepts and metabolic processes that we talked about with other vitamins and that we'll talk about with um, future vitamins and minerals as well sometimes. So kind of some of the basic functions and just use this as one example. So in this retinoid metabolism, you see um, kind of at the top left of the screen here is, let me get my right tool, is the all trans retinal. So it, essentially what we're doing is converting that all trans retinal to the all trans retinol is what's happening in the top of this screen. Again, mostly I want to kind of highlight, not that I necessarily um, expect you to remember all the details of this reaction, but I think it's helpful to think about, um, it can be very overwhelming looking at these, and so kind of think about things that you'll see commonly in various metabolic reactions like this. So I'm just going to highlight some of those. So um, in terms of this conversion from the retinal to the retinol, um, this uses an enzyme retinal reductase right here at the top um, of the screen. So this is a reducing reaction. So remember we've talked in the past that when there's reducing, there's also oxidizing along with it. So basically something gains electrons and something loses electrons. In many metabolic reactions like this, you'll see um, this uh, hydrogen, the hydrogen ions are shown in the reaction here. So you see the NADH plus the H um, is being converted in this same process. So essential, essentially here you can see the retinal on the left has two fewer hydrogens than the retinol on the right. So that's a reduction reaction. So we can also um, use this sort of as a reminder on the terminology re related to the enzyme, the ret retinal reductase in this case. So remember, anytime something has that ASE ending, that cues you to let you know that it's an enzyme that's catalyzing that reaction. So remember, that's what an enzyme does. It makes that reaction happen faster. In this case, um, it's, the enzyme is nicely named with the retinal um, indicating what, is, um, what reaction is being catalyzed. Um, they aren't always named that way, but, but that's, um, it's nice when they are, and, and it's not uncommon that they are. So that's kind of a, a few concepts. One is that we're converting um, one form to another form. We're having a redox reaction, so something's being oxidized, something's being reduced, and there's an enzyme involved in the process. Another thing that I want to point out, so you'll commonly see this um, sort of this reaction, this other arrow right here with the NADH to the NAD that's happening, you know, it's kind of looks like it's on that same reaction. So essentially those two things are happening at the same time. So in this case, the retinal gets reduced and then NADH gets oxidized. So essentially that NADH is allowing that transfer of hydrogen atoms from the retinal to make it retinol. Another thing that I think this um, image can be used to illustrate, and again, you'll see this in, in various um, metabolic pathways when you see it, um, but how the different forms of a particular nutrient are used for different functions. So for example, in this one, the retinoic acid you'll see here um, is involved in gene expression, is one of the forms involved in gene expression, and you see it over here on the right of the screen too. So vitamin A is involved in gene expression, and it would be in that particular form. Um, vision is another thing that we know vitamin A is very important in, and that 11 cis retinal form is what is utilized in vision. Uh, cell growth is another um, area that vitamin A is used for. So again, a different form that's involved in cell growth. So I think it's kind of easy for us to sometimes think of vitamins or other substances that we eat the nutrients, it gets absorbed, and then they just sort of hang out in our body. But really there's this constant movement between the different forms depending on what our body needs. So you may be thinking, why is it important that you understand this concept? I think thinking in terms of thinking about the application of this, when we talk about nutrition, we often think, okay, you know, tell someone you need to eat vitamin A because it helps with vision and promotes good cell growth. And then that's kind of as far as we think about it. 
But it's important to sort of have an understanding of how that how that works, and again, not to memorize metabolic pathways, but to appreciate that this ch the, they change forms and that the different forms are from different functions. Because that will help you answer questions like, does it matter if you get the vitamin A from an egg or it's, if it's beta carotene that comes from a carrot? Or when there's the different units with vitamin A, um, why, why are there different units? What does the retinol activity equivalent mean? So when we kind of think about these different metabolic pathways, it helps us to understand why um, when it, if it comes into our body in different forms, it may, we may need more of it in a particular form than another form, that sort of thing. The other thing that I think is helpful to remember when you look at metabolic reactions is the use of the B vitamins as coenzymes in metabolic reactions. So again, remember anytime you see NAD that it, we're talking about a niacin, niacin being involved there. When you see FAD or FADH, that's riboflavin that's involved there. So when you look at metabolic processes, you'll often see that NADA, um, or excuse me, NAD or NADH or FAD, FADH. And so realizing that those are all the various places that those B vitamins are utilized in metabolism. So just helps you appreciate how important those are for our body. So again, a, a lot of this stuff on the slide, it relates specifically to the functionality of vitamin A, but it really illustrates many of the concepts you'll see in a variety of metabolic pathways. So just kind of when you see these, don't, don't panic. Um, you know, some people it gets a little overwhelming, some people not so much, but just think about how some of these, you see some of these similarities uh, in different nutrients being metabolized.